Hello, and welcome back to this week's Series in General's Weapons Guide. Today's weapons guide is on the M1A1 Bazooka. The Bazooka is a common name for a man-portable recoilless anti-tank rocket launcher weapon, widely fielded by the United States Army, also referred to as a stovepipe. The invention Bazooka was among the first generation rocket propelled anti-tank weapons used in, in, in the infantry class. Featuring a solid rocket motor for propulsion and allowed a high explosive anti-tank or heat warhead to be delivered against armoured vehicles, machine gun nests and fortified bunkers at ranges beyond that of a standard thrown grenade or mine. The bazooka can also fire HESH rounds, high explosive squash head, effective against buildings, tank armour and universally applied nickname across the M1 variant. Vague resemblances to a musical instrument called a bazooka. Invented by the pop and popularized by the 1930s US comedian Bob Burns. During World War II, German armed forces captured several bazookas in early North Africa and Eastern Front encounters and soon reverse engineered their own version, increasing the warhead's diameter to 8.8 centimeters, among other changes. Widely assuming the term bazooka still sees informal use as a generic term referring to any ground to ground shoulder fired missile weapon mainly rocket-propelled grenades. As you can clearly see, the Bazooka M1A1 here in Heroes and Generals cannot be modified in any way, shape or form. However, you can, if you want, if you wish, install a customized camouflage skin, ranging from factory all the way down to a desert camo pattern. Also, the armor profile of the weapon does not see that of what it would be in considered in real life. As you can see, the M1A1 Bazooka, its maximum armor penetration value is only 70 millimeters. And unfortunately, the rear armor of a Tiger II is un so unfortunately miscorrect within this game. However, the M1A1 Bazooka is adept at taking care of light infantry vehicles such as the APC, Jeeps, as well as light to medium armor. You'll also go through anti-tank, You'll also go through tank destroyer armor like it's made of butter. However, you will find that you will struggle to take care of any form of heavy tank, whether it be IS-2s, Tiger 1s, Tiger 2s, or even captured Persians. My advice to you is, if you see an enemy tank and you are in a city, get some elevation over it. Find a building, aim your weapon out of a window very carefully, I might add, and aim for the engine deck lid or the upper casing of the turret. Other than that, you will always fail to penetrate. Same with the Panzer Shreks that you can find freely lying around the map. Most notably, most Panzer most Panzer Shreks can be found in close proximity to embunkered mobile anti-aircraft, i.e. the triple A's. It'll take roughly two to three shots depending on your perks. There is no modifications for this weapon, so it's pretty simple to use. As you can see, my soldier here is using the Bazooka M1A1 along with his M1 Garand. The Bazooka M1A1 actually takes up a total of 5 slots with a maximum pouch load of 4 rounds. You can extend this pouch load, however, by using the Dynamite Lover perk. So sit back, relax, and please enjoy the video, and most importantly, all weapons used in these tutorials are modified to my liking and my playstyle. Remember guys, play your own way in your own way. Until then guys, please sit back, relax, enjoy the montage. And most importantly guys, please don't forget to leave a comment down below on what weapon you'd like to see next as a weapons guide. As always, my name is Danny Deceptive Cobra's Monaghan, and I'll see you in the next one my friends.